We had uh, Brian Danielson, Lee Moriarty. And yeah, yeah, Bar and Brian, Brian. I didn't even say Brian Danielson and John Moxley. And and you know, you want to talk about a match that's guaranteed? That one could be like near match of the year. Those two guys, Brian Danielson is like you know, like the guy's on fire. The guy, it's like I was thinking about watch when during this Brian Danielson Lee Moriarty match, which was just a great match. And Brian Danielson, it's like Brian Danielson only has great matches kind of like the young bucks only have great matches but they are so completely you know i'm watching going like he's like the young bucks like it's it's the match is always great whenever they're on tv and they're and it's so completely different it's like they, they wrestle nothing alike but they're but they always have great matches so this was one of those matches where Danielson gave Lee Moriarty a fair amount, but then he just beat the shit out of this poor guy. And he killed him, and he stomped his head in, and he triangled him, and he flexed, and the referee stopped the match. And uh, it was a glorious beating. And then afterwards, he said that he had offered to team up with John Moxley, and he was demanding an answer right now. So John Moxley comes out and he cut a great promo. Oh fuck! What a great. And he promo. explained that years ago, a decade ago, he was scheduled to face Brian Danielson in any show, and Danielson's Chilicothe, plane was delayed. Ohio. His flight was delayed, and so they stalled for an hour. And uh, finally, Danielson showed up. He's already in his gear, and they walked to the ring and they looked at each other. It's the first time they'd ever met, and they had this match and. Brian Danielson beat him, and he said, I faced Danielson some other times in my career, and in fact, I have never beaten Brian Danielson in my entire career. And he said, I heard what you said about teaming, and it sounded awesome, and thought of all of the great matches we could have and all the things that we could do, but then I thought, does this guy want to team with me because it would be awesome, or does he want to team with me because he doesn't want to wrestle me? And so he essentially said that I don't team with anybody that I haven't bled with. And so he walked out, and it looks like they're going to have a match. And I guess we'll find out what happens after the match, if they if they end up with mutual respect and team, or if it's the beginning of a feud, or what they end up doing. But this match is going to be awesome. Yeah, the match will be awesome. Um, I'm just wondering, I'm really curious who goes over. Because Danielson had that lost page. Um, I mean, I, again, I, I, I've said this many times. Um, I believe Danielson should be the TNT champion. And if that is the plan and the direction that Danielson beat Sammy Guevara for that title sometime down the line, then I would say that Moxley should win this match. Um, if not, I don't know. I, cause it's like, you know, Moxley is one of the most protected guys there, but you know, I don't right now. I would not want to abuse Danielson because that's what they did in WWE. It was kind of like, you know, they had this. Well, part of it was because Danielson was booking his own stuff and all he wanted to do is put everybody over, you know, just like, can you, this is, you know, it's so amazing to me that like when I grew up, all the guys with power never wanted to lose. And now all the guys with power, all they want to do is lose. <laughs> like they, all they want to do is like lose all the time. And like, like Danielson, like you know, he 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 put over freaking Drew Gulick and Cesaro in WWE. Let alone, okay, put over Roman Reigns. But it's like, it's like, I mean, I didn't like that in WWE in the sense that you know he was always putting everyone over, and it's kind of like, well, he's great, and we all know he's great, and he, you know, people, you can just put him in the main event, and people are gonna whatever they're gonna buy it to a degree because he can talk, and and God knows he can wrestle, but still, like. He put over people that like, you know, if, you know, I mean, the idea of him putting them over was to springboard them to big matches. But in fact, you know, they might have, he might, you know, Vince may have given them like another week or two and then he put them right back down to where they were. So it's like, okay, Brian's a main event guy. These guys are prelim, pushed as prelim guys. Brian's losing to them to get them pushed past this level. But even then when they beat him, they're not being pushed past this level. So what the fuck, right? So anyway, um, I just don't want to see that Brian Danielson in AEW as the guy who we all know he's a great wrestler and he has all kinds of great matches and going to put over every young guy, you know, or whatever. Not young guy, obviously, but every 
every time like a top guy he's he's not going to win the big one i mean i want to see brian danielson get some wins but if he's going to be tnt champion um you know i mean then it makes all the sense for moxley to get the win because then they can do the match another match later and you know my feeling of brian danielson every week or every other week on television wrestling lee moriarty's type of guys i mean it's it, this was great television, and I just think that uh, that would be, you know, they have a whole roster full of guys from Hobbs to Dante Martin to, um, you know, Darby Allen to, there's a, you know, Matt Seidel, you know, the, you know, there's a million of these guys um, that, you know, you could go in there, Andrade, I mean, the list is endless, um, Anthony Bowens even, that he's, they can go in there with a guy and, and, and have like a killer match um you know look at Pac, you know something like that or ray phoenix i mean it's like you could book like literally like you could you could book a whole year of matches with 25 guys have them all be fantastic matches elevate that championship and never even have to do one rematch i mean it's just almost it's just a great it's just i don't know that one just seems to be real easy to do hey if you're a big fan of wrestling observer radio we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 Audio shows at your fingertips.